Listen, the weekend was great, but here we are starting the week again. Rain is on the way. Rain is here right now. I'd rather have it during the week than on the weekend. It Bingo. was a lovely weekend. I mean, the parade you guys just saw, it was beautiful it over was. the weekend. It Everyone really was. was outdoor. Everyone was so happy. Everyone was open <laughs> How are we now, Tim? All of a sudden, we kick off Monday morning while well, stuck in a rut with some of the showers. The rainfall over the past two days and... Really, this has been over the past uh, 24, not even 24 hours or so. Most of that has been hugging the coast and paralleling, paralleling the south coast. There have been spots of one, one to two inches of rainfall through Bristol and Plymouth County and on portions of the islands. Two to three inches of rainfall has shown up so far across Connecticut, and that is still where the heaviest of the activity is and should likely remain for a majority of the day. What we'll start to see is a change in this overall system as it lifts towards the north. It will take in some drier air, and that will sort of shut it off. But that's not really until the end of the day today. So ultimately, so we're still tracking scattered rain showers today. The muggy meter will shoot up on Wednesday and Thursday. Dew points climbing into the 60s and maybe even mid 70s. So we're back in that soupy and sort of tropical air mass. And we're staying unsettled, by the way, with some of those tropical like downpours in nature. For the day today, it's a smaller scale weather feature that we're tracking. And it seems like, again, this will lift off towards the north. But that doesn't happen until about noontime today, which means Connecticut and Rhode Island gets out of the heaviest of the activity. That then works Worcester County, Middlesex County into it as drier air comes in on the southern fringe of it. And then ultimately, that will bring a conclusion to this first round of rain. And I am saying first because I know that there will be more on Tuesday evening, Wednesday, and Thursday as well. High temperatures today are right around 75 degrees in Boston, 73 across the Metro West. May not make it out of the 60s in Worcester County today. That due to some of the rain, cool air, and cloud coverage that ultimately have. When some of us, by the way, at the coast, taking on an east wind at periods throughout the day. Tomorrow will be a mostly dry day for a lot of the region. There's one line of showers and thunderstorms that lifts off towards the north at 3 to 5 in the afternoon through the Merrimack Valley and the Monadnocks. I don't think this is widespread. I don't think that's severe. And then we get to Wednesday. Now, this is a bit more widespread. This is also where we see the potential of strong to maybe severe thunderstorms thunderstorms entrained in the forecast as we're taking on more heating. Remember, it's a soupy air mass. It's more humid. It's more tropical in nature. So through 7 p.m. here on Wednesday, this is where Worcester County should be on guard for strong thunderstorms. Do me a favor, scan the QR code, by the way, that you see on your screen. That will then take you to the NBC 10 Boston homepage. It gets you the latest, by the way. And if you also turn on your push alerts, that gives you sort of a heads up if there's thunderstorms or lightning in your vicinity. The dew point forecast, it's on the way up. Notice how it gets into the mid to upper 60s and maybe even 70s by Sunday. That is when we start to see the change in the air where it does stay tropical. So Wednesday and Thursday, those are wet days as well. Friday's drier, still hot though with high temperatures right around 90 degrees.